Te de om. Te de om. Hello, hello. Click. Um, click. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa. There's cat hair on my hand. <laughs> I can never escape the cat hair. Okay. Um, open this. Put this over here. There. Is it going hilly? And uh, into 43k. I almost clicked the wrong button. <laughs> but I didn't. I put my glove on here. Whew. I'm going to try and go a little quicker today. Because I'm, I'm kind of busy. So, so we'll speed through some of these. I'll try not to yip, yippity yap <laughs> so much in between the, uh, whatchamacallits? The batches? Oh no, I'm almost out of water. Oh well, that's fine. So, I think we'll just get right into it then, okay? Start with 90 second poses. Should we switch back to normal? I don't think this difficulty thing changes anything. <laughs> oh, whatever. Ta-dum. Let's try normal. Normal difficulty. It's funny how there's only easy and normal. <laughs> there's no like hard or anything. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing good. Hello, hello. Already, already uh, struggling. <laughs> this one of the days is always hard, eh? Sasuke. I had enough to practice. Me too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that'll do. First one's just a warm up. Next. <laughs> Did you learn how to draw a skull for the head? No. I, I have no idea how to draw a skull. I just do a circle, then I try and find the center line. 
kind of thing. And then the eye line. And then I just kind of extend the back a bit and then kind of bring this toward the chin. That's basically all I do. <laughs> it, it's good enough, it works. I don't know how to do like a proper skull or anything. I, just, I keep most of the figure pretty simple. I don't really um, know a lot about anatomy. So I just try and do like mannequins. Very, very simple stuff. I used to really struggle with the head. <laughs> Someone in the chat, I think maybe Ethervang, gave me some some tips. Yeah, it is really complex, I agree. Way too complex. That's why I like to keep things really simple. Like that's good enough, right? For a head. It'll do. Then you can just kind of like throw an ear in here and there if you want to. That's good enough, I think. this um I'm exaggerating this too much here eh? yeah okay next Whew. Heard it's important to understand the face more? It can be, I think. I mean, it depends, you know? It's not like you have to follow along with what everyone, what other people say you need to do, you know? If it's too hard or if it's annoying, I usually just don't do it. Like, I don't, I can't be bothered, you know? It's my number one priority is having fun. <laughs> So I, I don't really find like bones and stuff all that fun. So I just don't do it. <laughs> I don't really think about it. I guess that's not exactly true. It's more that I enjoy the way I do it now. So it's like, why change kind of thing, right? It definitely helps to understand the bones and the muscles and stuff, but I don't think you need to. You know? So whatever works, works. It's just one one way of doing it, you know? There's like an endless way, an endless amount of ways to draw. All right, and there you go. It'll do it for 90 second poses. Whew, we'll do three minute poses next. Pretty quick here, I'm just gonna sit up straight and have a sip of water, and then we'll get right into it. Oy. So I don't have a lot of time today. I'm gonna try and go quick. Okay. Oy. Okay, <laughs> so 
sitting up straight. Let's do three minute poses, eh? Da dum. Ooh, kind of cool. I like this one. I like this twist. Shoulders are like this, and then it's like this, right? It's kind of cool. Okay. so hot last night my cat was like right up against my back <laughs> it was hard to sleep I'm quite tired today I'm doing good though How's it going, Kira? Good to see you. A funny pose. It's very relaxed, eh? Super lounging. Reckon you're gonna do a drawing for the prompt today? Not today. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. It'll be just a quick one. A one day thing. Still don't really have any ideas, but I kinda wanna use the pose. And then maybe the only idea I have is maybe like hair blowing in the wind. But I'm still not sure. I'm gonna do it tomorrow though. Maybe it's just like a rough sketch, like not color it, just kinda like a Pencil sketch kind of thing might be fun. Keep it rough. That's the plan, at least. Subject to change. Wait. <laughs> it's funny, by the way, you wrote Grumpocious instead of prompt. My brain just immediately read that as prompt. <laughs> I now speak Kira fluently, hey? <laughs> hey, perspective. Don't know how you do perspective so easily. It's, uh, I don't know either. It just happened one day. I, I just kind of, something clicked. You know, I used to really, 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 really struggle with it. I still do. Um, especially if I'm trying to um, put together like a pose on my own without reference, that's when I really, really struggle. But I don't know, something just clicked one day and I was like, oh, 
I, it kind of works now, you know? <laughs> you got to remember I've been drawing every day for, like practicing drawing figures the same way even for 431 days or something now, right? So somewhere along the line, I, I kind of figured something out. <laughs> I think a lot of it is proportion. You know, once you get a good feel for how long legs should be, you know, you can kind of tell like, okay, well, if this arm is kind of coming toward us a bit, maybe I should cut like 10% of the length of this arm, you know? A lot of it is just stuff like that. It's like other things, proportion and angle, and then cross contour lines. Really help too. It's not just like a one, you know, like perspective by itself. It's like a bunch of things come together to kind of make it work, I think, in a way. Well, this one's kind of weird. <laughs> What's going on here? But yeah, it's pretty hard. Getting past the labeling phase, drawing what you actually see is the first step. Yeah, that's, you know, like if you ask a little kid to draw a face, they'll just go like this or something, you know, they don't actually draw what they see. They'll just draw like symbols that represent what they see. Whereas if you were going to draw a real eye, it'd be like something more like this or whatever, right? And the nose is kind of like, you know, <laughs> once you start relying on on your eyes more instead of your brain, that also helps. But it's not easy. It never really gets easy. It just gets hard in different ways. But again, I think the number one thing is it's just practice. If you spend like a month just kind of practicing every day and then thinking about, oh, I don't really get this. Eventually, it'll work. <laughs> You'll figure something out, right? It just takes time and dedication. It's like everything that I've struggled with, pretty much every single thing, hair, clothing, perspective, proportion, balance, like pretty much everything I've kind of figured out, at least to some degree. I still kind of suck at clothing, but I'm nowhere near as bad as I used to be, right? At least I feel I'm not. <clears throat> it's just a matter of time. You just have to kind of think about it enough. <laughs> it's a weird pose. It looks kind of buggy, eh? Like these hips. Whatever. <laughs> it's a little buggy. See how like this leg is heading away? If this leg was going straight down, it would be like maybe this long, right? Something like that. That might be a little big because I'm kind of rushing. But since it's heading away, I kind of cut off like maybe 25% of the length of the leg. Like that's part of it too, right? There's a lot of little things. This one's hard. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Perspective is easy. You guess and hope it looks cool. If it looks wrong, just say it's my art style. <laughs> yeah, that works with everything, eh? <laughs> well, it's just my style. It's my stylistic choice. You know? <laughs> the best part about that is 
You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. I saw a really cool drawing um, yesterday. All it was was um, it was very, 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 very scribbly. I wish I like saved it or something. But it was like it was a few figures like on the beach, but they were drawn like this. Like honestly, like like this with like different colors, and it it looked really good. Like it worked, you know. As long as you can make something work, then uh, I'd say you're good, right? If you can make it work. <laughs> drawing from reference a lot. Yeah, ref drawing from reference helps too. And like trying to really, really get it correct. That's basically all I do, you know? I don't draw from imagination pretty much ever. Well, that's not true, I guess. Sometimes I do when I'm like doing my own drawings, I'll alter things or like I might have some reference, but I kind of shift it. But for the most part, I draw from reference, like pretty much only. What I like to do is get different references and then kind of like take ideas from different, like maybe four or five different pieces of reference. Like I'll take the face from this one, kind of the pose from this picture here. Maybe like this this guy's outfit, I'll grab like another reference for like an outfit or something. And I kind of like photo bash my references in, together in my head. <laughs> so that way you're not like just sticking to one thing, but you're actually kind of branching out and Taking more ideas. It's fun doing it that way, I think. Wait, let's get this over. Going too slow today. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next. Let's skip this one. <laughs> I don't like that pose. A little too um, on the nose, hey? Whew. Your references are good if you can't quite get a shape right, exactly. And if you don't spend a lot of time drawing from imagination, it can be pretty hard. You know, like I can kind of do figures from imagination because I've drawn so many figures, right? But I can't, if I want to do like a bird from imagination, it probably will look a little weird. Because <laughs> I've only drawn like, what, 10 birds in my life? So I like using reference, especially for things that I, I don't really understand. Like clothing is a big one. If I want to do like a dress shirt or something, I'll grab some reference of that so I can get like the collar correct and things like that. The collar is really hard when like a dress shirt kind of folds over itself. I don't really know how they work, you know? <laughs> It's like this or something? I, I really don't know. So I always need reference whenever I try and draw them. <laughs> hmm. This one's hard. I still don't really know how to do the torso from above. Well, I guess I can draw on the shoulders first. Mm. Something like this. There's some angles that I just really struggle with. is one of them. Especially when everything is hidden, right? This is when you just kind of have to draw what you see. I see a line like this. This arm is like here. Kind of comes like this. 
There's my knee. It's a tough one. Man, three minutes is just, it's so quick. <laughs> and there you go. That'll do it for three minute poses. Whew, we'll do some five minute poses next. First, I need to stretch. I need to touch my toes. <laughs> touched. Legs are all stretched out. Whew. I think I'm good to go. I'm almost out of water. Should I just finish my water? I'll save one sip. Okay, let's get into five minute poses, shall we? Man, my legs. <laughs> I might have stretched a little too hard. Okay, my right leg kind of hurts. Okay, um, five minute poses. Ta -da! <laughs> okay. This one is rather normal. But it's a three quarter angle. These are kind of difficult. Whew. Okay, um, what do we got? I could probably make these shoulders a little more broad, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> yeah. Close enough. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? Jewel arrived again instead of doing my tasks. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know how it is. Wait, unfortunately. I like this little triangle kind of in between the arm and the the torso here. There's like just enough space there to make make it easier to figure out where the arm goes. Hmm. 
Hmm. We got tweeting birds outside. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Good enough. Wait. Um. Wow, I'm I'm starving. <laughs> Don't think about food. Don't think about food. Don't think about food. Wait. Hmm. Food. Dang it. Wait. Okay. Ah, thought I had more time. Oops. I guess not. <laughs> Next. This one's a little extreme, hey? I think this is one of the pole dancing poses. Okay. Something like this. My chin is like up here, hey? Weird. So hard to draw heads at different angles. <laughs> I'm only used to them up and down. Wait. Torso doing. Like this. Instead of hands, you will have rectangles. Wait. Praise be to the quadrilateral. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Boy, this is confusing. Um, okay. Still doing okay on time. No rush. No rush, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's go and put that. My quick sketches are lucky. If they even get triangles for hands. <laughs> Just so, hey, you're too fast for that, Kira. <laughs> what did they get? Just sticks, I guess. I guess a stick is better than nothing. I was watching some documentary or something, I can't remember what it was, but like, I guess the only reason humans are like the most advanced. You know, technologically, it's it's really just because we have thumbs. <laughs> Is that it? Like tool use and stuff. It's really just because of thumbs. <laughs> I can't remember what I was watching. But it was like it was some documentary or something on maybe monkeys. I guess I don't know. But the guy was like, "Oh yes, our thumbs." Like really? I guess they're. Do you really need like a thumb though to hold things? I guess you do. <laughs> the power of the thumb. Um, what do we have here? Is this Goku? This looks like a Goku pose. Dot for a hand. <laughs> what if we had three thumbs? We'd probably be on Mars, I guess. If we had three thumbs, imagine the tools we could use if we had three thumbs. Would they be like extra fingers? Or would they like replace, <laughs> like instead of like a normal hand, you have like fingers and a thumb? It's instead, what if it was like three thumbs and then like two fingers? <laughs> Looks like a chicken. That probably wouldn't be as helpful. Yeah. <laughs> what if every finger was a thumb? Thumbs and the ability to teach. I guess yeah. Hey, that helps. I saw something where like monkeys, some like group of monkeys or apes or whatever, are like throwing rocks at a tree somewhere, and they're like the monkeys have invent have uh, reached the stone age. I'm pretty sure they were already in the Stone Age. I've seen like, I mean, crows are in the Stone Age, aren't they? They're pretty smart. The crows around where I live, they'll like pick things up and drop them in the road and then cars run them over. Like nuts or whatever, they break them open. Monkeys are just now Figuring out the power of rocks. <laughs> Let me make this head a little bigger. <laughs> the piano chords I could play with three thumbs. I know that feeling. I think I used to play piano just for a little bit. I want to get back into it one day, but I think my hands could reach one octave plus three, I think. Just as a random aside. My invisible hands. Oh, I guess they aren't invisible. My legs are invisible. <laughs> Um, 
like this. Here. This leg is coming toward the camera just a little. And then heading down this way. Right in the way of my big blue head. Such a little over here. Um, okay. Whew. Can teach crows to attack people you don't like. <laughs> really? I know crows are uh, smart, but would they like, would they even want to like listen to your orders? Go get that guy. And they'd, they'd just be like, no. Maybe if you give them enough shiny things, eh? Hey? Maybe if you feed them, yeah, maybe. Um, this one's kind of small. That's okay. More difficult for shortening with these legs, hey? Mm. Cats with wings. Cats with wings. <laughs> yeah, if you befriend them, some people get gifts. I saw some video of like, I think this guy like saved a crow or something. He like rescued it. And then for like the rest of his life, the crow would just bring him shiny things and he collected them in a jar. Or something. It might be confusing like two different stories. They're pretty cool though. I like crows. Sometimes they'll just be hanging out in the trees or like on the power lines outside my window and I'll like look out and see them and they'll be like, hey, and we'll like look at each other. And then when I walk away, they'll like fly over and land on my balcony and like, <laughs> you want something? I think they're, they want food because some of my neighbors feed them. Cause they're like, are you going to give me food? And they'll like come over and land. And my cat freaks out. <laughs> they'll just like land on the you know like there's like a sliding glass door or whatever with like some curtains so i can see out like this little sliver and they'll land on the railing like outside like right here and they'll just like hop back and forth and like look in look inside at me and be like hey <laughs> you're gonna feed me Sorry, Crow, not today. When they leave. Whew. I have two morning doves at my house. They've been coming for a couple years now. That's cool. Are they the ones that kind of sound like owls? They kind of go like, whoa. I think I had um, a couple of those where I used to live. Oh, hiccup. 
Always thought it was a morning dove. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, it's where I used to live. You'd always hear that and be like, is that an owl? <laughs> but apparently they were morning doves. Like, huh? It's a morning dove. Never even heard of that before. Are you sure those are real? Are you sure it's not an owl? This is a conspiracy. Morning dove. <laughs> I thought it was morningly, you know, like like morning, noon, and night. But no, it's it's with a U. Ooh. Oh, I just realized I'm running out of time, hey? I should probably speed up on this one. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention. I'm thinking about birds. Wait. So easy to lose track of time. <laughs> All right, one more five minute pose here. Whew. Used to hear them a lot when I was younger. They look like blueberry pancakes, really, do they? Let me Google that. Morning dove. Oh, they do. <laughs> what the heck? That's cool. Mmm, pancakes. Don't think about food, don't think about food. Wait. I haven't had pancakes in a while. Stop thinking about food. <laughs> I can't help it. Pancakes. Love blueberry pancakes. They're uh, they're not bad. It's like the only form that I enjoy blueberries. I'm not a big blueberry fan, but blueberry pancakes are okay. enough. Ooh, messed up in my drawing. <laughs> That's me every drawing, every single one. I mess up in some way. Wait. I'm 
Still waiting for that magical moment when I draw something. And it just turns out perfect. <laughs> like every step of the way. Someday I'll do it. Right? Right? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> just Bill Bucket in the background, light blue. <laughs> What, like this? <laughs> Honestly, I've been thinking of doing um, stuff like this. Drawing neg in negative at some point. It might be fun. Or drawing like with an eraser instead of with color. Kind of like with chalk instead, you know? Black background kind of thing. It might be fun. Give a bit of variety. <laughs> Master procrastinator. <laughs> took me five days to do something, it took 30 minutes. <laughs> That's like um that's like when I was working on the live 2D model for my blob for you know my skin <laughs> my blob thing here The final version I finished in like 40 minutes maybe but it took like a week of trying and then restarting but I eventually got to the point where I was like I know what I'm doing and then I just kind of did it without screwing up <laughs> I had to restart like 10 times. <laughs> I forgot the legs. Oh well, there you go. Ta -dum. Time for the pose of the day. Whew. Um, cool. This one's rather normal. I like the legs. I like how this one is straight. I like it when there's one leg holding all the weight, because it always kind of comes in, right? It's a little bit diagonal, the way it's sort of like, um, you know, holds the figure. It has to kind of come in like this, the center of gravity. I like that thing, that sort of thing. It's cool to see. Hmm. What angle should we do? Um, hmm. When I have my own life 2D, when I use my Gacha OC for it, my laptop is barely 10 gigs left for stuff. Yeah, I know that feeling. I had like a really, really small hard drive on my previous computer. So I always had to like delete stuff if I wasn't using it. Make sure I was managing everything properly. It's such a pain. <laughs> I think I have 1.5 terabytes right now. Which means I don't have to uninstall games anymore. Hmm? I'm trying to think of a cool angle for this one. Let's do like a side view maybe. Something like this. This is kind of cool. Whatever. Works for me. Oi. Okay. Try and go quick here. Not quick, but like, not slow. <laughs> not quick, but not slow. I say as I struggle to draw a circle. Wait, that'll do.
Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Going over the same line over and over again. It never ends. Wait. Here, somewhere there, that's good enough. Why does Duolingo have so much ads? <laughs> I never use Duolingo. Is it like um, like in between lessons you have to watch like an ad? That would be so annoying. I wouldn't be able to handle that. <laughs> Wait. I can't even watch Twitch anymore. Not that I really used to, but every time I just like tune in on with something, like sometimes there's a tournament going on or something. You get so many ads on Twitch, it's crazy. Ads are they're just <laughs> they're so annoying. Actually they're not too bad on YouTube though. I think YouTube is like if you're gonna have to have ads, you know, the way YouTube does it is pretty nice. Between a lot of them, really. That's kind of annoying, hey? <laughs> website is better than the iPad app for that reason. Does the website have less ads? Hmm. Yeah, I've, been, I've kind of been thinking of getting YouTube Premium. But I'm not as annoyed as I thought I would be <laughs> when they destroyed the ad block, you know? Wait. I don't really care. I don't mind watching ads, you know. <laughs> it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just annoying. <laughs> trying to think of this leg being really straight. I wonder if I should draw it um, a little later. I guess it doesn't really matter, hey? You listen to music, it's awesome. Oh yeah? I do listen to music on YouTube quite often. I didn't think about that. Hmm, maybe I'll have to look into that. I need to bring them a little more seriously. I just kind of like idly looked at it. I was like, ah, nah. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. Something like this. Used it to learn French. Duolingo. Gave up after three months because it was. Teaching me words I would never use. <laughs> like house or car. <laughs> Things I wouldn't use unless I was conversing with someone. Seems your um your priorities are a little um different from the average language learner, I would say, Kira. <laughs> I used Duolingo to learn a language and it started teaching me all these foreign words. So I stopped. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Jewel. <laughs> Zoom. Almost done. I'm trying to get the angle of this correct, like that. Hmm. 
I don't know. I never know how to connect the, the calf to the thigh. <laughs> this winds up looking a little weird. Whatever. You're just gonna have to have a horse leg. <laughs> okay. I think if you're going to learn a language, the best way to do it is um, I don't actually, I don't really know. For me, the best way to do it <laughs> has been to like make my own resources, like flashcards and stuff. I think if you're relying on other, you know, flashcards that are like already made by people. It's a little, um, it sticks less in my brain, I think. It's easier if you do it all yourself. <laughs> it's a little more work, but... I think the more you can do yourself, the more it's going to stick. Because I was thinking of making a, a textbook for like beginner Japanese. This was years ago. I decided against it because it was like, I don't know, textbooks feel kind of old world. I was thinking of maybe making like a YouTube series or something instead. I never got around to it, but I was thinking about like how to teach and I was like, I don't know, I feel like it's better to just do it yourself. Everybody's probably different, right? But the more like input you can have on the actual stuff you're learning the more I think you can focus on actually learning stuff instead of just following along with somebody. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, that's just me. I was going to make flashcards to learn from, but I couldn't be bothered to figure out how to do it. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Flashcards. Like if you use Anki, it's a little confusing at first. Very, very powerful though, I think. Spaced repetition, I think it's like the best way to learn anything. Um, boy, kind of, there's a lot of stuff going on in this tight area. A little confusing. Maybe I'll erase this. What am I looking at? <laughs> this is too close. This is too big. Here's my elbow. Um. Yeah, something like that, I think. Sure, and there you go. I'll take off my glove. Whew. Okay. Um, next is what do I click? Uh, waiting screen. 
Click on this, go over here. Da -dum. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Well, can't win them all, hey? You can go up here. Squat. You can go. Um, I guess right here. Had trouble finishing a lot of them today. Yes. Which is honestly pretty normal. <laughs> it's hard, okay? It's hard. This. Um, I think there was a horizontal one I can put above. Yeah, right here. Look at that. And then you can go here. No. Here. No. Today was a struggle, eh? You'll do this. No, it's not gonna work. Can go there. Um, you can go here. more this guy about that size you can go maybe here and then next I guess once I got into the five minutes I was more awake perhaps it's a little more clear the quick ones are really hard. Even three minutes can be pretty quick. Easy to lose track of time. Hmm. This one can go, I guess here. Oh yeah, this one. Unfinished, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe you can go down here. And then the pose of the day can go there. Perfect. Well, good enough at least. Let me save this. Whew. And then that'll be it for me today. Happy April 13th, everybody. Okay, time lapse, export. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, that's it for today. What day is it again? Four hundred and uh, I, <laughs> let me check, 431 I think, I'm sleepy, I feel like my brain isn't on anymore, somehow it got switched off, <laughs> you think Sakira, yeah I think they turned out pretty good, I just needed a bit of time to wake up right, <laughs> sometimes that's how it is, eh? yeah 431, Whew. that's such a huge number, if you really think about it, <sighs> oy, oy, oy. How's it going, Marcius? 
Johnny Bravo poses? <laughs> I haven't thought about Johnny Bravo in years. Ooh, ha. I never watched it. I think I like occasionally might have turned it on. But uh <laughs> I always thought he was too um he was too dumb, you know? I was like, why would I want to watch this big dumb guy? <laughs> It was kind of a funny show though, I remember liking it. I just didn't really watch it that often. <sighs> Yummy yum. Do you ever get to see his eyes? Let me Google Johnny Bravo. I kind of forgot what he looks like. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I like his hair. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, thanks again, everybody. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I'll do a quick sketch tomorrow. I'm not sure of, of what yet, but um, I'll do a quick drawing after post practice tomorrow. Um, stuff to think about what I want to do. And then next week, I kind of want to do another big one. We'll see. We'll see. See if I get any ideas. I like alternating, doing like a, a big drawing and then kind of like quick, more rough drawings, you know, sketchy stuff. So <laughs> maybe I'll do another big one. I haven't done like a really big one, like a five day in a while. Hey, have I? I guess not. Um, I would need an idea, some sort of a, some sort of inspiration. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again for watching, everybody. Um, and I'll catch you next time, hey? Once this time lapse is done. Yeah, not in at least a month, right? I'm trying to think of the last one. It must have been at least a month, yeah. Something like that, right? Didum. There you go. Didum. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep hitting my laugh track. <laughs> I don't want to hit that button. I want to hit this one. Anyway, um, thanks again, everybody. And uh, I'll catch you later. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 whoa.